Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and the world of free software just expanded, especially in the world of computer graphics, because three high-end CG applications were just made free. One was View, the other one was Plant Factory, the other one is Plant Category. We'll take a quick look at all three of these. The first one we're going to start with is View. This is from a company called Eon Software. They were bought by another company called Bentley Systems. These guys work in the very high end of graphics, uh, visual twin, uh, motion pictures, that kind of stuff. Not really for games, but with the world of Unreal Engine and Nano. Night, it's possible. So first one I'm going to talk about here is View. Now View is the most complete tool set for CG environments. At least that's what they say. So it's a world builder, something kind of like TerraGen in scope or Gaia. Uh, so this is for making skies, volumetric clouds, trains, and so on. It has been used to make movies. They did continuously update it until 2023, but that continuously updating part is the important part of this story. They have been made free in perpetuity because they are no longer going to be upgrading these. So as one of those things you can definitely check it out. Just do be aware uh, that, um, yeah, there's no more development going to be happening on these. So uh, one of the things I'd heard about this, so you see here high-end procedural terrain generation systems going on, uh, atmosphere, realistic atmospheres. It's got uh, pipeline integration, including to the very current USD format. Uh, so it was updated right up till modern day uh, and then seemingly stopped. So uh, that is Vue. Again, feature-wise, here is the uh, feature runtime of what Vue is all about. It can do things like create trains, a variety of different styles of trains, um, ecosystem instancing technology, so actually adding like foliages and particle systems, etc., into the world. Uh, vegetation, it's got a built-in plant editor, but it also is compatible with Plant Factory, which we will get to in just a second. Uh, create atmospheric skies and clouds. It's got modeling tools in there as well. So this is, you didn't need to use a Max Maya or Blender or anything else like that for it. It was all kind of integrated in here. Uh, it's got full texturing support, interop, um, integration and exporting to a variety of different formats, including, of course, FBX. You can get it over into Nuke as well. There is a Python API. You can also export it over to the GOZ bridge from ZBrush. And you got animation supporting here, lighting and rendering and so on. So that is Vue. Basically, again, it's like a high-end TerraGen or Gaia type world building environment. And the other thing I'd heard is uh, if you wanted to render out like a 1080p frame from the work you did here, it could take hours. So this is the kind of thing that runs on supercomputers. Uh, so just one of those things. I haven't checked it out myself, but it is available for download. And if you do check it out, tell me what the performance is like. The other freebie here that they're giving away is Plant Factory. Now, Plant Factory is kind of like Speed Tree without the speed. <laughs> so uh, this is a tool for creating uh, vegetation. So if you need to create a variety of different plants, you see here there is this node-based setup for creating it. Uh, so a root hydra, hydra, stalk and leaf, second leaf to create this grass setup there. Uh, UV unwrapping, proper edge flow topologies are there. So there's reasons why you could use this in real-time output. You could bring these things into, again, the best contender is definitely going to be uh, Unreal Engine because of its nanite support. This is not designed for real-time use. So this is not Speed Tree. It does the same thing Speed Tree does, but Speed Tree is focused on games. This is not. This is more aimed at uh, movie type environments. But again, with Nanite, you may be able to get away with it. So you got uh, realistic wind algorithms, growth algorithms, and so on. And you got integration into a variety of pipelines, including FBX, Alembic, and USD again. And you can bring it out to renderers such as Arnold, Redshift, Renderman, and V-Ray. Uh, this was meant to be uh, very much used in motion picture type production. Again, not necessarily games. Uh, and yeah, so that is the other application here. And then the final thing isn't really an app. It's more of a library, uh, but it is plant category. So you've got advanced procedural vegetation here, native pipeline integration, and it works with both view and plant factory. So it's basically a giant library of plants that they've already created. So they've already pre-set up, you can configure them, how they work and so on. So this stuff is all pretty wonderful looking see how it can work with a variety of different other tools out there, Max, Maya, Blender, Cinema 4D, Unity, Unreal Engine, etc. So you can bring these plants out to work in your games if you wish. Uh, so it seems like these ones are a little bit more optimized than the other things here. So that is the set of tools here. Again, I have never used any of them, but you've got Plant Catalog, you've got Plant Factory, and then you've got View.
And the one thing I got to tell you right now is this entire time what we've been looking at is not live websites because you can't go to the website anymore. Uh, you'll see here I've been using uh, the Wayback Machine, web.archive.org, to see any of these pages uh, because, quite frankly, when they nuked it, they nuked it. So if you search for Eon View or Eon Plant Factory or whatever, you are going to get brought to the exact same page. Their entire website has been scrubbed and more or less replaced with this page right here. So all Eon software has now been made available for free. So that's View, Plant Factory, and Plant Catalog. Uh, so it's served media and entertainment purposes for over 27 years following its acquisition by Bentley Systems in 2015. Eon software technology has been integrated into various Bentley products and have been used by valued customers and partners worldwide. For over 39 years, Bentley's focus has been to serve engineers and professionals uh, responsible for designing, constructing, and operating sustainable infrastructure. To keep our focus, we've decided to end sales of VIEW, Plant Factory, and Plant Catalog. Again, they kind of just serve different markets. Bentley is more towards the engineering side of things, whereas uh, VIEW and Plant Factory are more for uh, movie and cinematic side of things here. Uh, products will not be further developed and support will be limited to critical security patches. However, we are offering free downloads and usage of View, Plant Factory, and Plant Catalog as perpetual licenses to anyone interested in continuing to utilize these products and technologies. Simply download the product and acknowledge the new end user license agreement uh, to use the software without support. Click the download button to gain access to these products or see the FAQ for more details. And then the FAQ is down here. Can you use them commercially? Yes, you can. Uh, this clues both both meshes and textures, be aware that you may not sell any content derived from plant catalog models. So uh, that the library of plants, you can't throw them up on the Epic Game Store or the Unity Asset Store or anything like that. Um, but yeah, that that is it. You can basically go ahead and download them. The plugins, all the plugins are still in there, uh, which is quite nice. Um, I Again, I have literally no experience with any of this software. Just one of those things to be aware of. Um, it does appear to be all uh, available for Mac and Windows. There is no Linux here. Uh, you're getting the most current version of all of these things. You've also got the ability to download uh, back catalogs. Uh, so here's the plant catalog up to the 2022, I'm oh, sorry, 2023.3 available there. There's some extra content here available as well. So they've made all of their programs available free. So what it looks like to me is Bentley Systems bought a company that really isn't that compatible with their portfolio. And instead of just killing it off, they made it available for free, which is a pretty cool move. But again, I want to showcase something to you right here. So let's go out of here. Let's go over to a new tab. We're going to search for e-on software view. All right. So you're going to get those results. Info.esoftware.com. You click this guy. Boom. This page. Uh, let's go plant factory. Uh, and then if you, if you, even if you pick a sublink, so view pricing library licensing, nope, this page. Let's go back here. About plant catalog, nope, this page. So they have basically absolutely and utterly nuked their web presence from every single thing on Eon Software, their info.eonsoftware.com, that entire site basically just redirects to this download page now. So this is it. This is like the end of the line for these products. But it's nice to see they didn't just kill it. They have made them available for free. Uh, so there are more programs out here that are aimed towards game developers. Once again, in the view level, you've got um, Gaia, you've got uh, Terra Studio, I think. I think I might be making that one up. Uh, you got a number of different uh, landscape creation applications out there. Plant Factory, again, the most likely comparison is Speed Tree, which was more aimed more at game development. But again, with the world of Nanite, these could be quite useful for you. But one of the things I've had, I have heard, I've not used these in the past, but I have heard, is that this one requires a supercomputer to run and render. So this is not aimed at consumer level hardware is how I understand it. But let me know if you've used any of these guys, what you think of them. If you do check them out and you like it, let me know that in the comments down below, or if you hate it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's it. Eon Software, View, Plant Factory, and Plant Catalog, all now available for free. Free, Windows and Mac. Sorry, Linux users, you seem to be out of luck. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.